crazy cuties, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex from New Hammer Cruelty Free ME who loves to play with makeup. You've been here before. Welcome back. Today's video is do a little makeup therapy, also trying out a look that I want to create and just have a little fun, a little makeup therapy, I guess. Like I do like I love doing makeup therapies anyway because it's more fun and you just never know what the look's gonna come out as or anything, nothing planned really except for using a lip palette and eyeshadow palette that I thought about when I did the live glam um bagging bag for this month and I was like there's a color I'm gonna use and I don't know which one it was I don't think it was scrumptious and delicate but I know it's a reddish tone color of course all the products I've used in this video will be down below in the description box I do have affiliate links if you want to check them out all you had all it does with a feeling like this just helps me out to try out new products and also do giveaways that I want to do more often. How is everybody's week? How is everybody's day? Has it been good? Has it been really nice? I'm just, I don't know. For me, this week has been much better for me i'm not here worrying about stupid stuff my depression it is better i've been learning to deal with a lot of stuff in my head which is always a good thing with me but also i've just been hanging out with my boyfriend he keeps me happy keeps me calm and he just keeps me on an even thing, which I do like about him. I should say I like about him. I love about him. He keeps me calm. And I'm just like, thank you. Thank you so much, Dave, for keeping me calm. <laughs> Especially if you find someone that really quiets down the voices in your head. And you're just like, thank you, Lord, for bringing this person in my life. It's really nice. I do appreciate him. But also a lot of things I have not talked about in my past videos is just because I was going at home. I've just been making sure my home is good and nicely and trying to get it out of the negative area. I've been keeping the windows open. I've been just like airing out the house as I'm airing out the energy that is in the house. It's like the negative part and I'm just like it's I feel like it's working because you know the devil likes to play with things and it's just like really you know the devil's working really hard to keep the negative means you're doing something right and that's how I feel about that that's how I feel about that but yeah I'm gonna use a rock on from ColourPop which I really haven't played this in a while and I really do enjoy this. I'm like, I love the red tones. Um, I should bring in more red into this, but I, I don't know for sure. I might just add another one, add more red to this. I might use this palette from Wet n Wild. This is an old palette but not really old, but. So for the first shade, I'm, I like to go the lights to the darkest. So I'm gonna use Rock My World. Yeah, a lot of, just airing out some stuff out of my home. And one of the notes about this eyeshadow palette is really, really good color. Um, not, um, kick up. It's very powdery, but long it has gives it, okay. Like I said, I don't know what I'm planning. I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild. It's the Cream Belay. It matches my skin tone perfectly. Don't want it too dark. Playing video games, especially Warframe. One of my favorite games to play. Right now I'm working on a new Warframe. Not really, really pain in the butt, especially when you're farming and certain things. Farming is like basically use the same mission over and over to get the stuff that you need. If you got an Ipsy's bag this month, 
how do you feel like how do you feel about this month's uh bag because it still bothers me i don't i don't know i'm using it as to get for get not free products get products for the giveaway that i've been wanting to do but i just feel like even for if I wasn't getting it for giveaways or getting products from give for giveaways, because how come I like FCA? Because I can get I can use their shop and just get discounted products. Well, get higher end products, but on a good sell, actually a good deal. Like the past couple of times I got it, I really did like what I got. And then of course this month was supposed to be like Halloween, like beauty nightmares and I was thinking oh you get like get something for like Halloween inspired and I'm like I was so sad I was so freaking bummed out of it why man I got skin I got two lip liners which I was going to use and as I looked in my collection of my lip liners I was like yeah I probably had those already so I'm like oh let's and then I like the blush I already have that color in my collection. And I'm just like, I was like, uh, and of course the skincare products, I only got one when I really wanted to try eating was the eye cream because I am running low on eye cream. And I'm just like, oh, that's something I don't have to buy for a while. But I was like so bummed. I was like, that got Tatcha. And I'm like, I know that's not cruelty free because I had to research that a little bit more. And, you know, Tatcha is really good for anyone who's pregnant and everything, and you don't have to worry about things. This month was really not what I expected, technically. I would have tried, I would have gotten the different if I knew. That's why I like to see spoilers. If I knew what all the products were because they don't always show it and I saw what you can get for this month even that was sucky it's like they could have done so much better and I was like you know I'm not happy with this I don't think anybody would be happy with that and I don't see anybody's like bags or anything like that if I kind of done that with the color pop one before I bought it I was like no I don't want to see what anybody has I want to see what I get without seeing anybody's videos blah 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 and I like what I tend to do anyway now I don't watch anybody's reviews of any products I'm just like okay I'm gonna get it and see and sometimes I see people I'm like I see it and I'm like no actually I want to try it on my own see and then do the reviews but I was so upset and I was like and then you know I was happy to get to life when again I was like very excited because I really did like the collection one thing I love about Lifeline, you can switch to products. It's like you don't, you have like a couple of days and then see if you want the product or not. And you could always trade it out. You can trade it to collection app you want, which I do like about that. And then do whatever you want to do. I'm just like, hmm. I'm like seeing what I want to spend my money. Like, that's how I look at Because I don't have like, if I could, I would. But... I got plans for the future, especially the ins subscription inscriptions. When I say inscriptions, the subscriptions, certain ones, I'm just like, hmm. But I am going back to Ice Cream Beauty. Um, they're about the same price as as Ipsy. I do like about that. I was gonna get to see if I can get the choice or not, but for some reason, it didn't give me the option to do the choice. It's like there's certain ones I want to try. I want to try the bi muscling one from Spoil Lips Cosmetics because it reminds me of the Life Glam one before they put it in all together. Because Life Glam used to have three different ones for $19.99. You had one for the lip bees, you had one for the makeup brushes. Of course, you got the one that was bi monthly for the eyeshadows, and then they put it all together. I was like, oh, okay, that's really cool. So you have a mixture, and that was still $19.99, and then they upped the price, and then of course, after they up the price, now you get to the shipping. I was just like, so kind of like 
oh my gosh, but I thought it was going to be more than, than I expect. I thought it was going to be more. But this, this time around, it was a lot less. I was like, okay. So it doesn't break the bank, really. It is what it is on that, but 1650 to 1550, even though it's like a $12 whatever thing subscription, but you have to pay for this and pay for that. I'm fine with that still because technically you're saving money. Like this month from Etsy, I saved about $109. I saved $109 for these products because I budget all in them at once and then I take off the much money. I like I said with the Ipsy, it was a good deal no matter what of the sell. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more red. I'm not acting for perfection with this makeup look. I really am not. It's not surprisingly all these shades I have not really used. But if you want to start out, I don't know if it still sells this palette. I got this like a couple of years back. One more. I feel like Ipsy can do so much better. But you know what? I'm looking at their shop, drop shops, which I am obsessed with. I'm like, okay, there's some palettes I'm going to have. And even though the palettes maybe look cool, I'm here thinking about it too. I'm like, most of the time, like, do I really need this? But there's a couple of brands I want. I want that reddish tone because of the lip color. Upset about it. I don't know why I'm so upset about it, but I am. Because I feel like we, I feel like as a customer, as a customer and a makeup influencer, you can say, or a beauty guru, or just a makeup enthusiast, wherever you want to call it at this point, you, you gotta have to say something about it. You know? It's like, I'd rather be honest and then to just, I'd rather be honest with people. And being so deception, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of makeup group makeup people, especially the ones that became so popular, like Michaela. Like I don't agree with a lot of things. She's still a person. I'm not gonna attack her. But after that last game, it made me like it's like how many people have really lied, like. How many people have really lied in these videos of these reviews? Like, you know, the bigger YouTubers now. Okay, I'm so don't know which one I'm going to use. Jason Sunset, Sedona, or Summer Heat. For some reason, Summer Heat is calling me. We, for me, if you want a review, do it yourself. Like, just because I'm reviewing a product doesn't mean... Um, me saying like, if you like the products, use the products. Not everybody's skin is the same. Nobody's taste is the same. It's the most weirdest thing to think about it, but actually the most important thing to look at too is that deception. I If my videos are a little bit longer because of review is because I'm actually reviewing them. And like, hey, this is what I think about this. And if I'm going to review products, I'm going to give myself 30 days. And it's going to be constantly me using it. Maybe it could be twice a week that I do makeup or anything. But I still have a guess of what I do think about it and everything. I'm like, oh, I like this. And I only got the product for one. Oh, I really like this one. And then never talked about it again. And I don't like doing that either. I don't like fresh impressions because... First impressions, actually first impressions. But I don't really talk about it. It's like, oh, and then I don't like this. And they're like, oh, and I'm gonna, I'm like, one, what the hell did you just do here? Like, that's your first impression about it. Oh, I don't like this one. But you're not gonna try it out again. That's why I wanna do my reviews at like every 30 days. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I really do enjoy this product. Cause if I talk about the products a lot, it means I really do like the product, and to me that to me that sells the product, and especially when you're talking about it in every freaking video, basically. Like this one, I love Revolutions uh, Conceal Define Full Coverage Foundation. I really love this one. I am definitely buying some more because one, 
it does so good for my, it matches my skin tone really, really well. It works all, with every foundation, not every foundation, every primer, primer that I've used. The Effortless One, the Cokey Perfection Poreless Primer and Radiant Booster, um, Hydration Primer, which I do use Hydration Primer. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, you're using a matte foundation with a this and it? I'm like, yeah. Well, it does just helps it hydrate your skin. It's like another skincare product. If I like the products, I'm gonna tell you. And usually my face will tell you the truth and like you would ever see me like I don't like a product and I say, Oh, I really like this product. Blah, blah, blah. You can tell by my face I won't like it. My face don't lie. It. I'm not gonna not put a lot of foundation on here because I'm using concealer, so so it's just let's I'm going to be honest with you. I'm I'm just, I'd rather be honest with you and then be deception because I'll get caught. <laughs> when my luck. Yeah. That's just, that's why I don't watch any makeup reviews anymore is because, it's just because of that. I'm like, how do you know if you're telling the truth? Because these days you got filters. I, that's why I don't do a lot of lighting. That's why I don't do like touch-ups. Or anything even though I wish my camera would act better I wish the lighting was really good but you know what I'm fine with that in the beauty community especially on the big ones you I, I, I'm here that's why sometimes I watch smaller you content creators and the ones I like to watch is like small like a thousand two thousand um, sometimes I watch a hundred thousand K followers who has I don't know, followers a hundred um, subscribers and I'm like okay cool like there's a couple of ones I still watch uh like Shannon Shan X so um, because I want to see but most of the time I see what they like I just want to see what how they do make and usually I don't want you to care for for the view a lot of people like it's why I do a mix of like reviews and then like hey this is a product I really do like blah 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 to me that's a selling like if you see me using the products a lot it means it's okay she's using the products i see how it works on her let's try it if it doesn't work on you that's fine that's on you it's just me to say hey you may like this product like this one you may like this one it's the everlasting setting spray from deity creations i really like this I like mascara. I'm so used to it with the lash hat lab and this elf. That's like a really wet one, which I don't mind. I'm not too worried about my forehead right here. Uh, I don't do contour right there because if my hair is right down anyway, I'm just like, you know. Terracotta from NYX. This is like their OG, their OG blushes. I'm like really liking it. Like I love NYX's. And they're like on my follow. I'm gonna try this new brush from Morphe that I got during the light blend thing. I like that. I like this brush. Morphe brushes are really good. It gives you a nice flush of color. I like it. They're like, oh, she's using so much brown because I want to use brown when you're alone. <laughs> I don't care about your opinions. We're just having fun. <laughs> That's all I'm about. As long as you're having fun and feeling comfortable with your makeup, doesn't matter how bad it makes you don't feel comfortable with it, go for it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just be comfortable no matter what. what you, who cares what anybody says? If you put too much blush, oh well. Put too much highlighter, oh well. If you like that style, go for it. Have fun. Stress makeup. It's not like it's permanent anyway. So I'm going to use this color because I don't have like a reddish brownish color that would work with this one. Okay. So not matching it, but I have two what I've used, which I think that's going to be my hunt. This one, a reddish brownish lip liner. Okay. I think it's in delicate. I know it's not the other one. I know it's not this one. So it's I think it's this one. 
Okay, this is definitely my vibe. Like it. Definitely fall. Definitely give me like a vampire type of feel. Look, anything gives me a vampire type of feel around this time? Yes. Like, Dracula, but me. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> the way I do this, like, for vampire nose, like, but me. Like that way. But not. Sit. <laughs> no, that was funny. But yeah. Scrum it was not scrumptious and dead again. So. Mm, even with the dark brown with this would work too. So I would say both of these would work. I will link the video down below for the uh, life plan. But yeah, I really like this one. Like that collection I got. But yeah. I know there's a lot of rambling. I know there's a lot of talk. But I feel like it should be said anyway. Um. I feel like it should be said about, I feel like when it comes to big time influencers who influence you, who do reviews, it makes you really think. And I just, like I said, if I don't like something, I'm going to let you guys know. It doesn't matter if it's a first impression or a review or something like, yeah, I still don't like this or whatever. Yeah. I can tell you what about Life Glam. That's why I love like glam lippy so much. It does not dry your lips. It does not. I love it. It's not sticky. It's not over drying. It's a beautiful colors. And I do have really beautiful colors. And I'm really wanting this. I also feel like you do your own. If you want to try the products, you try them for yourself and do your own review. Do your own research. And I think that's the best way. Um I will, for me, I will give you the idea, and that's what I want. It's like giving you an idea if you want to try the product or not. Um, other than that, that's how I feel. As a person who loves makeup, who likes to voice our opinions, even if people don't want it or not, the people want it or not, I'm going to give out my opinion no matter what. But I feel like it's, I feel like it is the most best way. And just do your own research, test out the products of yourself and see if you like it or not. And there's a lot of brands I want to try. And I'm like, do I want to try this? Do I want to try that? And I'm just like, do I need it? <laughs> this is it for today's video. If you do like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the like button so I know you like this content. If you also comment down below, what do you think about reviews? What do you feel like about PR? Uh, what do you feel about people reviewing products and do you trust them or not what is your thoughts and of course make sure to subscribe button so you be part of the crazy cuties clan we might be a little crazy but we cute at the same time and of course make sure the notification bell so if you're notified of any new videos that i upload um so yeah i feel like this conversation need to be had as a MUE who loves to play with makeup and loves definitely love. But I really love this makeup. I think this is like a good um vampire look. If you I love it. Okay. This is it. Okay. This like I said, this is perfect for fall. This is this is a vampire look if you want to try this out for, for a Halloween look. But yeah, hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you're at. I love you and God bless. Bye.